This is the Peugeot 908 HDI. Built to do battle with Audi Sport's all-conquering endurance racers, it's one of the most extraordinary sports prototypes ever built. Powered by a 5.5-litre twin-turbocharged V12 diesel, producing a colossal 730 horsepower and 890 foot-pounds of torque, the 975 kilo 908 looks and goes like a rocket ship, albeit one that sounds like a heavily silenced generator. Glued to the track by immense levels of downforce, slowed by massive carbon brakes and managed by highly sophisticated electronics, it is a truly jaw-dropping machine. One we were lucky enough to be invited to experience at the Silverstone Classic Media Day. Acquired from Peugeot Sport and run by UK team Chamberlain Synergy Motorsport, the 908 HDI is one of the stellar lineup of Le Mans GTs and prototypes racing in the new Masters Endurance Legends Championship. This very car, 908 Chassis 9, came agonisingly close to following Peugeot's historic 2009 victory at Le Mans by winning the 2010 race. Sadly, a Conrod failure caused its retirement with just three hours of the race remaining and the leading Audi squarely in its sights. Despite that crushing disappointment, Chassis 9 has an exceptional record winning both the Sebring 12 hour and Petit Le Mans that same year. Peugeot Sport withdrew from endurance racing at the end of the 2011 season, but the legacy of that brief but brilliant foray are incredible cars such as this. If you want to relive those not so distant glory days of endurance racing, be sure to be at Silverstone Classic on Saturday July 21st when the Peugeots will once again do battle in the Masters Endurance Legends feature race. It promises to be something very, very special. <laughs>